Hey guys, J.K. Ranson here with another commentary guide thing going on. Um, a lot of questions about how I make my transitions and also my intro. Like you see here, uh, we'll just drop it in and play it real quick. are um, how do I do my text transitions and of course the name of the song in the intro well the name of the song is two weeks by all that remains uh, great band love them that's why I put them in my intro as for the text transitions they're really pretty simple they're made entirely using the video effects from my Vegas movie editor uh, so what we'll do to start is we'll insert a text media just like this and uh, I always take it off bold and drop it down to 60 because of the size of the text I use, or the type of the text I use, and uh, I actually download this. It's called uh, Diffused. It's my favorite test. We'll just type in JK Rancid, and then we'll go to the properties and, you know, change your colors. Make it anything you want. Since everybody knows me from the Fine Arts channel, we'll go ahead and do the lime green thing I always do. And from there, we'll go ahead and we'll drop a draw shadow on it. Just the standard draw shadow uh, settings are good for this. <clears throat> Once we have that set up, um, I like to make mine look like it has texture because, as you can see, it's kind of blurry. Uh, it doesn't look that great. So I head into Bump Map and I take Lower Left Spotlight and drop it right on there. Just zoom in on this a little bit. And then from there, I'll just kind of play with it until I get it right about where I'm happy. It looks pretty good. And uh, you start to get that 3D effect, you know. Uh, it sometimes helps if you would like. If you don't really care about backgrounds for it, um, a really cool thing to do is actually to drop your opaque color here to white, solid white. And it gives it this look like it's kind of resting in something. And uh, I kind of like that effect. It looks pretty decent. Um, it shows things a lot more. You can adjust your lighting here. I mean, it looks pretty cool. You can play with that a little bit, you know, get it to where you like it. But uh, once we have that, you know, drop this down to about two seconds. Um, to get that transition effect, you know, you're going to need, obviously, two sets of text to do this with. So we're just going to go ahead and copy this so it looks like the same text and we're going to paste it. Create a new source of the media. You don't want to create a reference because it'll change this one here too. So once we have that we can go ahead and change it to whatever. We'll put productions. And then once we have that let's make sure it's sized right. Fits in there perfect. Looks good. Great. So to get the um, the text transition like I like. Um, we're going to go into uh, Gaijin Blur, um, Extreme Blur. We're going to just drop it on here. As you can see right off the bat, it kind of drops it down. Um, for some reason I can't see my timeline on here. Hmm. my timeline has disappeared. <laughs> this is great. There it is. <clears throat> Let's see if I can't drag this whole thing out. With the, There we go. Oh, now we got our timeline back. Alright, so on the Guy Jambler, to, um, if you want it to look like it's coming in from, you know, sideways, you obviously do a horizontal range. If you want it to look like up and down, like that, got your horizontal or your vertical range I prefer mine to come in from the side so we'll start the text you know coming in from the side and we'll click on our timeline here and I, I like to click for it about four to five keyframes four is probably good enough and then add a keyframe and on that keyframe go ahead and drop it back down to zero so it should look something like this okay maybe a little too quick on that drag it a couple keyframes off Start it again. Looks pretty good. And now to get it to transition into productions, you go about five, six keyframes from the back. So 
one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that should be good. Well, maybe go five. Then add a keyframe. This will hold it at zero by adding this keyframe. Then go ahead and click ahead one keyframe. And uh, copy your first one. And drop it right there. So now you get that effect. So if we watch it on here, it looks something like this. And it transitions over to productions. You'll still want to do the same thing on productions. You'll want to add that extreme blur so it looks like it blurs in too. So if we go to here, go ahead and drop our horizontal, I'm sorry, our vertical range. Adjust your horizontal to where you like it. Click it forward about three keyframes. Because you got to remember, this is going to transition with the other one. You don't want to go too long. Add a keyframe. Click forward one. Drop it down to zero. And so it should look like that. So it gives you that really cool, like, shaking type text transition. To um, go a little bit further, you can go ahead and drop um, a fade in here on your, tra on your text. Just do a real short one. Because what you're going to do is you're going to go into your transitions and add to it a hard flash. And this will just add a little more to it. So if we watch it, as it transitions, it'll flash. And it gives it just a little bit more, you know. And that's pretty much how I do it. So I hope you all enjoy this. Enjoy the text transitions. There's many things you can do with it. As you've seen in like my Bando Soul, I had this sort of set up with red text and it kind of jumped on the screen. To do that, we'll make this text jump, you know, in the middle of it. <clears throat> we'll go about here. We'll go about mid mid key on this one. And uh, we'll add a keyframe, just where it is. And we'll click forward about four. And then we'll take it and we'll move it straight down. Oh, no, I didn't lock the aspect ratio on this. Okay. And it should lock the aspect ratio. Oh, it's not doing it. Okay. For some reason, I can't do it with this one. Um, anyways, to do it, you, what you would do is you would drop a keyframe here so it stays. And uh, from there, you would just kind of bring your text down to here. And then go forward a few keyframes and restore it. And then on your Gaijin Blur, I'm just going to do it even though it's kind of moving the uh, gray back here. So you can see how to do it. Go to video effects. Do your extreme blur. Where you can, actually, it's already got the extreme blur. You can just go in here, <clears throat> run through your keyframes until you see where it starts to move. And from there, you'll add a keyframe. Click forward one, and we'll do this one with a vertical range, like so. And then we'll click it, click it, click it, and then once it's it sort of starts to stop and get back to its place, we'll go back one keyframe, add a keyframe, and then this is where it's actually back in its place, and we'll go ahead and drop the vertical range back. So it looks like it kind of jumps down a little bit. Just kind of like that. And you could play with it, you know, do what you will with it. Um, but that's pretty much it. I mean, it's really cool stuff. The three effects I pretty much use are Bump Map, Gaijin Blur, and the Transition Hard Flash. And it creates this really cool look. So have fun with it, play with it, use it. Um, it's one of my favorites. Uh, watch for more videos, subscribe, rate, and uh, comment.